is Maturish and this is a channel where we dish the ish on a mature tip and today I've got some synthetic drip for you. Synthetic hair is great hair. Synthetics have come a long way and this is something that I haven't seen before in a synthetic wig. Now I want to give a shout out to the vendor who sent us this wig, Shiloku, and thank you Shiloku for sending me this unit for my people so they can be the first to be in the no, this is a headband wig, as I said. I'm stuck on headband wigs. You get used to it till the end of the year. And what I've got here is a headband synthetic wig. That just never, I've never seen one. Now, I've seen people make them, make them out of half wigs and a headband, or they're human hair. And I have several of the human hair ones, several of them coming up for review, depending on which order this uploads in. But for right now, what we're going to do is take a look at this unit by Shiloku, okay? And there she is. This is 18 inches long. It's got a few layers cut into it and it's not too shiny, but I think what I probably will do is add some dry shampoo to it. The inside cap construction, it's really ventilated. I like that a lot. So that means it's going to be cool. There I love are no that. Combs. No combs. So I only have on a stocking cap instead of my wig grip cap. I have on a wig grip because I'm never sure. I mean, you can always take that off if you feel like you don't need it. But the cap is very stretchy. And of course, you can adjust the size to the head by the Velcro straps. And what's really cool is the headband is made of black velvet it's so soft it's much narrower than other headband wigs that i've seen so that gives you a chance to use smaller headbands all kinds of things are possible with this one so let me try her on okay i'm gonna look in my mirror and we're gonna see what we get to see okay all right That is really cool. I like not having to worry about combs, but this comes down because we specialize in no edges left out, no leave out, period. So the reason we specialize in it because I don't have any edges to leave out. My hair is white. My hair is less than a quarter of an inch long, cut into a modified Caesar, and I bleach it white. So with a black wig, it goes without saying, you can put heat in it, honey up to 377 degrees. So if you are not about the straight wig and you actually want some curls in here, you can you can curl it. What can be easier than that? I'm gonna pull this down a little bit and then I'm gonna put the Velcro pieces together. And the only thing you wanna do is make sure that the Velcro goes over the back of the wig and that you get all the hair above that piece which I don't seem to have. Hold on just a moment. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, one little strand ain't hurt nobody. There we go. She's on. She feels really secure. She's not moving. I'm going to push her up above my ears a little bit. I'm going to take the pin down. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is really pretty. Now, she does come off as a little shiny. I have coconut scented shampoo, dry shampoo. If you don't have dry shampoo, you can always use some baby powder. Just, you know, sprinkle a little baby powder and brush it through, you know. But since I do have this, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Give me a moment. One thing about using dry shampoo, and this one that I have is coconut scented and it is marvelous. And that just, it just takes the shine right out. Now, is she going to tangle? Probably a little because she is synthetic and she is silky. The silkier and the more, and the fact that it is synthetic, will have it tangle just a little bit. But I'm not, I'm not getting any shedding, just a little bit of tangling. And there's what, what's not to like about this. I mean, this fits really well. I'm thinking it's good for big heads and small heads because the uh, band, just like an elastic band that you've seen on um, human hair wigs, this velvet band is a stretch velvet. And frankly, if I was gonna wear a black headband, I would feel very inclined to wear the one that's on here because it's all fancy with the little velvet going on. And see, I'm not, I'm really not getting, I'm not getting the tangling too bad and just, 
God. Yeah, my hands run right through it. And this is all the hair to the front. All the hair to the front, all of it. There we go. Now, I've got some headbands and we might as well start with pink since I'm wearing pink and it kind of goes. So let me try that, okay? I'm just gonna put it over everything. And for once, I actually made it over my earrings without incident. Yeah, because you know I'm always knocking an earring out or it's falling out. And then I'm just going to go back up the other way. Making sure that I cover the back. But this is a wide headband. The headbands that I purchase are called yoga headbands. And that's because I'm never going to have a leave out. So I want to cover the flat part of the wig if I'm using a half wig. I'm not using a half wig, but I am using a headband wig. And she's about 150% density and she's 100% canicolon fiber is what um, the deets say. So that's no problem. Um, shampoo easy, I don't see why not. And at 18 inches, she comes right here to the top of my bust line. And again, she's got some kind of face framing layers laid in already. I don't know that I want anything else to go there. I'm just saying. <laughs> but that's one headband, that's a fairly, regular headband and now what i'm going to do is i'm getting a little bit of flyaway action because if you do comb through her she may get a little flyaway so i've got some ores olive oil super ho fixing spray and i don't spray things other than shampoo into my wigs but i will just run it through my wig that way and all the flyaways just disappeared like magic i do have a denman brush i'm just gonna brush her now, if you like big hair, this is this is this is this ain't that. This is regular density hair, which is about 150 um, percent density, and that's the only density it comes in. Now, this wig came from Amazon, and it comes also in a complete auburn, and the same. If I'm not mistaken, it's the same length. 18 to 20 inches is the length on the wig. Um, I think at one time they may have had a longer one. And this may be considered longer because the layers are different lengths. So, you know, this may be considered 18 to 25. But usually when it hits right here on me, just right here, it's 18 inches when it's straight. Of course, curly wig is going to show up a little bit different. And this is the wig from the right side. That's the hair on the right side. This is the wig from the left side. And I'm gonna put it all in the back. Turn around. And that's it from the back. Now, let's try some, some Jedi mind tricks with this wig. Cause I'm feeling like this one would go really good with a ponytail. Since it's super straight, I'm thinking that there is nothing wrong with trying a ponytail with this one. Okay, let's try a ponytail. And I'm gonna pull the ponytail. Well, wait a minute. We can do a half up half. We can do we can we can do some things with this. <laughs> Hold on just a minute. Let's see if I can do it. Cause this looks like the kind of wig I would put on just to run around every day. This looks like a great daily wig. Now, of course, what depending on the headband that you use, you can dress her up or dress her down. But when we're talking about a wig that you can wear every day, this one's giving me everyday vibes. I like that. Okay, so that's half up, half down in a ponytail. Yeah, my little pony. <laughs> my little pony, now I feel like a kid playing with a toy. But my little ponytail is up there. And that gets it up out of your way. I was wearing a headband wig on Thanksgiving cooking and I really needed to get it up out of my way and putting it in a half up, half down solved the problem completely. Now, let's see what else we can do with her. We're gonna take this rubber out. Boop. If I can catch it anyway. There we go. Still no shedding. And you can hear a little bit of tangling, but no shedding. Okay. I guess if it's not coming out, well, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> it could tangle a little bit. It's not going to bother me. Okay, let's try putting it in a high ponytail, the whole thing in a ponytail. Ooh. 
And this will be great for like exercise or whatever you're doing where you're running around and you just need your hair up out of the way, period. And I'm going for the high pony. Let's see if we can do that. Well, mid, mid head pony is exactly really high. I know it'll do a low ponytail. I, I, can, I can feel that going on. Take a look in the mirror. Okay, it would be better if I had all the hair. There we go. And I didn't have all the hair. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's a lot of hair to pull through a rubber band. There we go. I got it. Okay. Oh, that makes a pretty pony. That makes a pretty ponytail. That's mid head ponytail. And of course, you can always put it low. And I have one other idea that I haven't tried. Okay, we're gonna pull it over to one side, see what happens. Let's get all the little hairy hairs over there. Make sure my headband is up over all of the indiscreet parts, like my curlies at the back. And you know what? Let's change headbands. I'm so busy doing stuff. Let's change headbands, hang on. And you see it's staying in place really well, really, really well. I got another pink headband and it's a little bit wider. See how wide we can go. <laughs> okay, let's go down first. Pull it all out. Ah, see, tangles. Okay, but no shedding. Tangles, no shedding. No shit tangles, just tangles. And if you find a synthetic wig that doesn't tangle, holla at a sister, please. Now, I like this headband because it's really, really wide. And what I'm going to do, oh, let's make sure I got all the hair up in through here. Now, this covers all kinds of problems that you might have with a headband in the back. See that? It's covered. I hope you can see that because I can't see behind me. This microphone is in the way. Let's see if you can see. Let me try it. I'm going to try it again. Okay. Here we go. But this wide headband should cover about everything you got going on back there, okay? And what I wanted to do with the other one, I'm going to do with this one. We'll just bring all the hair to the side and get the tangles out. Not bad though, don't, don't be discouraged by a few little tangles. They never hurt anybody. As long as the wig isn't shedding, you haven't lost anything but a moment to untangle it. Okay, let's do this. And then, oops, then I'm gonna pull it all over here and I'm gonna try and braid it. Now, I am not the world's best braider under the best of circumstances, but I'm gonna give it a try just for the sake of having given it a try. Come on, my tourist check. I gotta braid it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna braid it as far as I can before the layers start to poke out, which is right about here. And then I'm gonna take a band and put it on the end. Now, when you really don't wanna be bothered with your hair, but you don't want to not have hair on, that's cute. It just, it does exactly what you want it to do. It covers up all the problems in the back. That's it from the left side. Then on the right side, you just got and in the back, there you go. And basically we're done. So thank you for joining me here again for another episode of Maine's by Matourish. I love having you. I am glad if you've come back, you're uh, regular to the channel. Yeah, if you're new to the channel, get down there and just literally literally subscribe to the channel we would love to have you if you're in the clouds drop down if you see the applause button in the replay gang give us a little applause it helps to support the channel links that you find in the description box are generally affiliate links and if you shop through those links you help the channel with a little bit of money and that would be so appreciated now i'm gonna get out of here have a wonderful day and remember that no one does you the way that you do you and you do you so well thank you for being here i love you Mwah.